Right. Hey guys, it's Sartok from FTC Team 9794wizards.exe. In this video, we're going to quickly walk through how you can program a teleop program for your holonomic or mechanum drive so you can move it around during the teleop period. And we're just going to do it in blocks because that's uh, a simple way to go about it. So what's, once you connect to your robot controller phone over Wi-Fi, just go ahead to the local IP address and you're going to want to go to the blocks uh, programming menu. So we're just going to create a new op mode, and I'm just going to call it um, holonomic drive test. And it should just bring you to a, a blank teleop program. So the first thing we're going to have to do is, um, in the initialization section, um, what we're going to do is I'm going to go reverse the right um, drive motors, since um, mechanically they have to be flipped. So just go under uh, actuators DC motor. Then you can get this for your right front motor. And we're going to want to copy and paste that. So you can also do the right back motor. And you can just put that under the initialization section. So now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to figure out how to program the holonomic using the game pads. So since the holonomic or McCam drive can move in three directions, we have to consider the horizontal component of the motion and the vertical component of the motion. So to get the vertical component of the motion, we're going to set a variable called vertical. And what we're going to do is, uh, during the loop, we're going to set the vertical variable um, to the y-axis on the right stick of the gamepad. So that way, when you push the gamepad forward, uh, sorry, the gamepad joystick forward, the robot will know that its vertical direction should be going um, in that forward positive direction. So you can just go under gamepad, and if you scroll down just a bit, you should find gamepad one dot right stick y. Now the next step is to get the horizontal uh, component of the motion. So we're gonna have to make a new variable called horizontal, and we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna have to set that horizontal variable, to, but instead of doing it to the x axis on the uh, right joystick, we want to set it to the x axis. So I'm just going to go to DC motor, or sorry, I'm going to go to gamepad and scroll down to right stick, x axis. So um, these two variables will allow us to calculate the motor powers for moving in any angle um, from the joystick, on, so your robot can do that on the field. But what we want to also do is make sure that the robot can pivot um, counterclockwise or just clockwise. So we need to create a variable, I'll just call it pivot, to keep track um, of in what direction and what power the robot should pivot at any time. So we also want to set that pivot variable to the left joystick on the game on gamepad one, and we need to get the x-axis value of that. So let's go under gamepad, scroll down to. Um, we can just take this. Whoops. Sorry. So we want to set that, except we want it to be the left stick x. And one thing I forgot to mention earlier is that since uh, on the gamepad joystick, when you push the joystick up, it returns a negative value, and when you push it down, it returns a positive value. We just need to flip that. Um, so that way, when we push the joystick forward, the robot moves forward. So I'm just going to go ahead and attach that negative variable, or sorry, negative block to the right stick Y, and you can find that again under the math menu over here. So once you have that in, now we're going to have to think about how we calculate uh, the power for each of the drive motors. So we have to think about this in steps. So when I push the right joystick forward, I want um, all of the I want all of the motors to go forward because that's how the motors have to work in order to get the robot to move forward. So what we can do is I'm just going to start with the right front motor for now. So what we want to do is. Um, we, we want to set the power to the vertical component. So that way when I push the joystick forward, the robot will, the, ro uh, this motor will move forward since we want all of the motors to move forward. Now if we think about the right front motor, if we want to move to the right, so this is when, the, if, when we want to move to the right, the horizontal component will be um, 1. So that's when, sorry, the horizontal component will be 1 since you're pushing it to the right on the right stick. But when we want to move in that direction, in order for it to work, we have to have the right front motor moving backwards. 
So we have to subtract the vertical component, sorry, the horizontal component for that. So if you go into math, um, we can just grab this and we can say vertical minus, and then we need to go back into variables and we need to say horizontal. So that's um, the first part. Now we need to consider the pivot. When you move, when you want to pivot the robot, so say you move the left stick to the right, that's pivoting the robot in a clockwise direction. And when you pivot the robot in a clockwise direction, the right motors also move backwards. So we need to make sure that we subtract the pivot from the motion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to get another math variable. And what we're going to do is, since I, I need to, to avoid any issues with the distributive property, I'm going to have to put the vertical minus the horizontal. I'm going to have to put that um, in the second argument for this addition. And I'm going to have to go into here. Um, and we'll have to, since the pivot value has to be negative, we'll get the negative block. And then we'll go into here and take that pivot variable that we have. So this is the calculation that we need for the right front motor. Now, let's go. So we move on to the next motor now. So we're going to do right back. So in the same situation, since um, the right back motor is obviously on the right side of the robot, we also have to subtract the pivot. Um, now for the vertical component, we still want that motor to go forward when we push the joystick all the way up. So we still have to add that. However, when we want the robot to move to the right, so when the horizontal component has a value of one, that motor needs to be moving forward because its horizontal component of force needs to be moving in that right direction. So I'm going to add the horizontal component instead of subtracting it. The next motor we have to do is the left front. So I'm just going to switch this. Now the first thing we have to adjust is um, the pivot. We want the pivot um, to be a positive value. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove this negative block and delete it and just keep that positive pivot value in there. Um, as with the other motors, we want to keep the vertical component positive since when we push it forward, the motor should also be rotating in a positive direction. And like the right back motor, um, we want the horizontal component to be positive because um, when the left front motor moves forward, it's pushing the robot to the right. And when the horizontal component is one, the robot should be moving to the right. So now we've got to do the last motor, which is the left back. And same as before with the left motor, the pivot has to be positive and the vertical also has to be positive. But with the horizontal component, the left back uh, motor is, is has the same direction as the right front motor. So we're going to have to subtract that horizontal component. Uh, one thing to note here is that the um, wheels that are on a diagonal from each other, the right front and the left back are one diagonal, and the right back and the left front are a second diagonal, um, they have the same method of adding and subtracting the vertical components. So if, like the right front and the left back, they both say vertical minus the horizontal component. So you can see the same down here. And the same goes for the right back and the left front. They perform the same operation. So that's uh, an important thing to note, as that's how the uh, drivetrain is constructed. So once you have this all set, what you can do is just go ahead and save your off mode. Oh, whoops, let me cancel. You want to press Save Off Mode, and you should be ready to run your program. All right, so now that we have our program ready to go, I'm just going to go ahead and test it. So you can see my joysticks right over here. When I move it forward, you should see the robot moving forward along in the camera frame. And same thing for when I move it back. So you saw the robot move back. I can also move sideways. So I'm going to move the joystick to the right and to the left. And also when I do the pivot, you see that the robot moves counterclockwise there and clockwise when I move the joystick to the right. So you can see I can move the robot in all sorts of angles just based on the values of the joystick right there. And I can also pivot while making different uh, motions laterally. So hopefully you got your program to work like that. Thank you for watching this video. Please leave a comment with any questions or email wizards.exe at gmail.com.